four psychological approaches can be used to explain aggression. By aggression, we mean a range of different things, from physical aggression such as fighting, to verbal aggression such as shouting, or saying harsh things, or even behaviours that are considered forceful, controlling or manipulative. There are different types of aggression, including hostile, instrumental and relational aggression. Hostile aggression is described as hot-blooded or impulsive. It is often accompanied by physiological reactions like an increase in heart rate and blood pressure. On the other hand, instrumental aggression is often called cold-blooded as it is planned, intentional and focused on achieving a particular goal. Therefore, it is not usually accompanied by the same physiological reactions as hostile aggression. There is also relational aggression, which is when the aggressive behaviour damages relationships. This doesn't just mean romantic relationships, but all types of social relationships, like friends and family. This could be hostile, such as sending an angry, impulsive text message, or instrumental, such as long-term bullying to damage a person's social status. The cognitive approach suggests a link between priming and aggression. Priming is when an earlier stimulus increases the accessibility of thoughts and ideas relating to it, so when a later stimulus occurs, this information is more likely to be triggered. Therefore, if someone is exposed to a significant number of stimuli associated with violence, their aggressive cognitive scripts become temporarily more accessible to them. This means if a later stimulus occurs that is related to this in some way, these aggressive cognitive scripts are more likely to be accessed and used, resulting in an aggressive response. Several types of media are said to have these effects. For example, Fisher and Gretmeyer found that people who listened to music with derogatory language about women were then more likely to have more negative views of women than those who listened to music with neutral language. This is due to the negative song lyrics causing a temporary increase in accessibility of negative thoughts about women, making them more likely to access and be influenced by this when they are later asked questions in a survey about women. Despite these supporting studies, Priming studies are very difficult to replicate, and most research shows a correlation. However, correlation doesn't prove causation. The cognitive approach also explains aggression through cognitive biases, particularly through hostile attribution bias. This is when a person misinterprets someone's neutral behaviour as aggressive. This therefore explains aggression, as if a person believes that someone is being hostile towards them, it may cause the person to react in an aggressive way, as if they are defending themselves. Many studies support the link between aggression and hostile attribution bias. For example, Bram Orobia de Castro found a link between hostile attribution bias and aggression in children. There are also suggestions that hostile attribution is a learned behaviour, as another study by Healy found that mothers with hostile attribution bias tended to have more aggressive children. However, just because these studies show a correlation between hostile attribution bias and aggression doesn't prove that it causes it.